Imagine this, a breathtaking animated portfolio site complete with 3D visuals, smooth transitions, and dynamic interactions, all built without writing a single line of code. In this video, we're starting from a blank canvas. Step by step, I'll guide you through how to use a powerful AI tool called Lovable to bring your vision to life using nothing more than your words. We'll craft a fully responsive layout. We'll add glowing interactive buttons. We'll animate entire sections. And yes, we'll even drop in a full screen 3D model using Spline, all without ever touching a line of code. You'll discover how to write prompts that spark creation, upload assets that bring your ideas to life, and troubleshoot the common bumps along the way. Whether you're a designer, a developer, or someone who's just curious, if you've ever wondered what AI can really do for web creation, this is your moment. Let's build something incredible from scratch. All right, so this is the Lovable website, a powerful no-code platform that's quickly becoming a favorite among designers and developers. It makes building stunning animated websites fun, fast, and incredibly easy. No coding required. I've included a special link down in the description. If you sign up using that link, you'll get bonus credits, so you can follow along with this tutorial completely free. Once you open the link, you'll land on Lovable's clean, modern interface. And here's the best part. In this tutorial, we're going to build a fully animated 3D portfolio website using just a single prompt. No designing, no coding. One prompt. That's it. Lovable handles everything. The layout, scroll animations, GSAP-style motion, 3D integration with Spline, responsiveness across all devices, even details like loading animations and progress bars. It's all built for you instantly based on your instructions. So go ahead, open the link in a new tab, sign up, and let's get started. I've already prepared everything you need, and it's all available in the GitHub repository linked down below in the video description. Once you're there, go ahead and give the repository a star. It really helps support the project and boosts visibility for others who might find it useful. Now, click on the green Code button, and from the dropdown, choose Download Zip. Once that zip file finishes downloading, extract it and open up the folder. Inside, you'll notice a few files. Let's clean up first. Go ahead and delete the readme.md file and the thumbnail image. We won't be needing those for this build. Keeping things clean will help us stay focused. Now let's turn our attention to the images folder. This is where all the key visual assets are stored and we'll be referencing these directly in our prompt to Lovable. Inside the folder, here's what you'll find. First, there's an image labeled profile. You can replace this with your own image, your face, your logo, or whatever represents you. Just make sure to rename your image to portfolio. That file name matters because we'll refer to it directly when we craft the prompt. Next, you'll see six project images. These represent the individual projects or case studies you want to highlight in your portfolio. Each one will be assigned to a section in the layout and we'll reference them by file name when giving instructions to Lovable. And finally, there's a reference image. This is your design benchmark. Just take a clean screenshot of a site you love and replace the existing reference image with yours. Just keep the file name the same so our prompt can still locate it correctly. Now it's time to focus on the most important piece, the prompt. This is what brings everything together. The prompt tells the AI exactly how to build the website, how it should look, feel, move, and respond. So finally, let's take a look at the prompt. Open the text document file inside the extracted folder, and here's the prompt we've written. Design a futuristic, immersive, and premium portfolio website for a skilled developer. The visual aesthetic must reflect the style, colors, glow, and modern elegance of the attached image named reference. Use cutting-edge tools. GSAP for powerful animation. Locomotive scroll for smooth parallax scrolling. Spline for 3D integration in the hero section. Site must be fully responsive across all devices. GSAP loading animation and progress bar new. Add a modern cinematic loading animation before the main content appears. Full screen preloader screen with a screen with a centered animated logo or text. Here, you can replace your own name. Next, we said, include a progress bar that fills from 0% to 100% using GSAP. After loading completes, progress bar fades out, preloader scales and fades away. Main content fades in with smooth transitions. Then we've given an example animation flow. By now, you've probably realized this isn't just a basic prompt. 
Everything here is explained in full detail, from GSAP animations to structure, logic, and interactivity. At first glance, it might seem like you need to be an expert to write a prompt like this, but that's not the case. Thanks to today's AI tools, any developer can create prompts like this. In fact, I generated this one using ChatGPT. In the world we're building in today, AI gives developers limitless creative power. With just a bit of imagination and a solid understanding of how to guide AI, you can bring to life ideas that once took teams of professionals weeks to execute. The future of web development is already evolving. New tools are arriving that won't just support developers, they'll amplify them, turning a solo coder into a super developer. And what does it take to become one? A solid foundation in web technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, Tailwind, Next.js, and others, combined with the ability to use AI tools effectively. That's the real key. So don't fear AI, it's not here to take your place. The truth is, the developer who combines web development skills with AI understanding is the one who will handle massive, complex workloads with speed, precision, and creativity. Learn the basics, embrace the tools, and let AI turn you into the kind of developer who can build the future. So right below this, we've explained the pages and sections. Let's start with the first section, our hero section. This section includes a large animated headline that you can easily customize, a subtitle, and a glowing Hire Me button. For the background of this section, we're going to use a full-screen 3D model created with Spline. Here's how we do it step by step. First, head over to the Spline website and sign up for an account if you don't have one yet. Once you're logged in, click Get Started. On the left side of the dashboard, select the Community option. Here, you'll find lots of amazing 3D models made by the community. You can pick any model you like, remix it, customize it, and use it in your project. For this tutorial, we'll be using a specific model for Lovable. I've provided the link to this model in the description box below. Feel free to use it, and don't forget to like it to support its creator. Once you've chosen your model, click the Remix button. This will open the Spline Editor tool. At the top, select the Preview option to see how it looks. Pretty cool, right? Next, click the Export button. In the Export settings, choose Play Settings, and then set the background to Hide. After that, scroll down and click Upgrade Public URL. Finally, go back to the Overview, copy the embed code, and paste it right here inside the parentheses in your project. And that's it. You're now ready to add a stunning full-screen 3D background to your hero section. Now let's quickly take a look at the rest of the prompt details. Right below the hero section, we've defined our about section. On the left side, we're displaying a profile image inside a glowing circular frame. On the right side, we've added a short bio along with a clean grid of skill icons to showcase key technologies. Next, we move into the project section, which includes six elegant glass morphic project cards. Each card is connected to an image from project one all the way to project six. Following that, we've got a simple and clean contact section. Then the footer. At the very end of the prompt, we've included some notes that guide Lovable on how to make the layout fully responsive and apply smooth animations where needed. Now here's what you need to do. Grab the entire prompt we've just written, copy it, and head over to the Lovable website. Paste the prompt into the editor. Then open your images folder, select all project images, and drag and drop them right into Lovable. Once everything's uploaded, go ahead and run the prompt. It may take a couple of minutes to generate, and there's a good chance Lovable will show some errors during the process. Don't worry about that. Most of the time, Lovable handles it, and if anything sticks, I'll walk you through how to fix it step by step. Now let me tell you 10 important notes to keep in mind when writing an effective, lovable AI prompt. One, be clear about the project goal. For example, a modern personal portfolio for a UI UX designer. Two, describe the visual style. For example, futuristic dark theme with glowing gradients or minimal pastel palette. Three, list the page structure in order. For example, header, hero, about, projects, contact, footer. Four, explain what goes in each section.
For example, Hero has a 3D spline model on the left and a bold title on the right. 5. Mention key animations or interactions. For example, GSAP fade-ins for each section and locomotive scroll for smooth parallax. 6. Include special effects only if needed. For example, add a GSAP loading screen and a scroll progress bar. 7. Say what you don't want. For example, no blog section, no light dark toggle, avoid drop shadows. 8. Keep it descriptive, not coded. Describe effects instead of pasting HTML, CSS, or JavaScript. 9. Use simple placeholder text if you need custom labels. For example, hero title, hi, I'm Sarah, creative developer. 10. Request full responsiveness. For example, make the layout fully responsive for mobile, tablet, and desktop. Alright, it's finally complete, but as you can see, we're facing an error. No worries at all. Let's click on it to see what's going on. We've got two issues showing up. The first one says property query selector does not exist on type event target. And the second one is cannot find module locomotive scroll or its corresponding type declarations. Now, don't panic. Lovable is actually pretty smart with this kind of thing. Just click the try to fix button and it'll attempt to resolve the problems automatically. In most cases, it identifies the issue and handles it on its own. It's normal to run into one, two, or even three errors on the first try, especially with complex prompts. But as long as your prompt is clean and well-structured, Lovable will almost always be able to fix things and generate your project successfully. Great, now Lovable has recognized the mistake, it's running the fix, and done. Just look at this result. Wow, I have to say, I actually ran this same prompt earlier when preparing for this video, and even though the output was solid, this version looks even better. Uh, the reload this time is just stunning. Let's view the project in full screen. This is seriously impressive. Your result might look a bit different, maybe even better, or maybe slightly off, but this version right here, I honestly didn't expect such smooth animations, clean layout, and attention to detail. All right, let's jump into the project section. Super smooth animation here, and it's great to see the project images showing up just right. Next is the contact section, really clean and simple. Even the footer slides in with a nice little animation. Love it. Let's test the responsiveness now. On tablet, everything scales perfectly. Now switching to mobile view, and look at that. It even added a hamburger menu for small screen sizes. Beautiful. I'm still genuinely surprised by how well this turned out. Honestly, if you were to code something like this manually, especially with these animations and layout, it would take serious time and effort. Lovable just made it feel effortless. And actually, it got me really curious. How does this system work behind the scenes? Let's explore it a bit further and take a look at some of the options Lovable gives us. Right at the top, we have this toggle button. Clicking it switches to the code viewer, where we can see the actual code Lovable generated to build this project. Now, with the free version, we can only view the code. If you want to copy it or use it in your own project, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan. And honestly, for what this tool is capable of, I think it's totally worth it. The level of power, flexibility, and creativity that Lovable brings, especially for a no-code AI tool, it can be incredibly useful for prototyping, building, and even learning. Now, one of the standout features Lovable offers is this edit option. If you click on it and then hover over the different elements on your project, you can actually target any component and customize it. Let's try it out on this logo right here, the one labeled MC. When we click on it, we get a full set of style controls. You can change the content directly, tweak the margin or padding, and adjust the font size and weight. Let's go ahead and increase the font size just a bit. You also get even more control by clicking on the Advanced tab, which gives you deeper styling options. Once you're happy with the changes, just hit the Save button, and that's it. Instantly applied. And that wraps up today's video.
I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about Lovable or if you'd like me to create a follow-up video and dive deeper into its features, drop a comment down below and let me know. Also, if you ran into any issues or if any part of my explanation wasn't clear, just leave a comment. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.